Yo, I am not a fake Sometimes I feel like a fake But I know I am not I have the Holy Spirit in me I'm saved I'm really a Christian I'm not pretending to be a Christian Nope I Hello everybody I am back with another Saturday message The reason why I haven't been doing Saturday messages Is because my iPad charge has stopped working but my mom found a new iPad charger for me and plugged it to a part of my old iPad charger and it's working just fine. So I am back with my Saturday messages. Today I'm going to read Acts 3. I'm going to pray and then I'm going to head into it. Dear God, thank you for this time that I can do this. Please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic and get rid of the disease. I love you, Lord. Thank you for, thank you for giving me an iPad charger that works, even if it's connected to my, part of my old iPad charger. Um, thank you to God. I know I had to buy a new one, so that's a blessing. Lord God, you are awesome. Please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic and every other disease. And please heal those who are sick in the world and whoever has cancer please get rid of their cancer and lord god you are awesome you are amazing in your precious and holy name lord i say amen so now i'm gonna read acts three now peter and john were going up to the temple at the ninth hour the hour of prayer and a man who had been lame from his mother's womb was being carried along whom they used to set down every day at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, in order to beg alms of those who were entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple to begin asking to receive alms, when Peter, along with John, fixed his gaze on him and said, Look at us, and he began to give them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I do not possess silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, walk. And season him, walk by night. Uh, sorry. Look at us. And began to give him his attention, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I do not possess silver and gold, but what I do have in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene walk, and seizing him by the right hand, he raised him up, and immediately his feet and his ankles were strengthened. With a leap, he stood upright and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they were taking note of him as he, as being the one who used his sit at the beautiful gate of the temple to beg alms and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him while he was clinging to peter and john all the people ran together to them at the at the so-called portico portico of solomon full of amazement but when peter saw this he replied to the men Men of Israel, why are you amazed at this? Or why do you gaze at us as if by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Jacob, Isaac, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, sorry, I did it out of order yeah. there. The God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, the one whom you delivered and disowned in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you disown the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, but put to death the prince of life, the one whom God raised from the dead, a fact to which we are witnesses, and on the basis of faith in his name, it is the name of Jesus which has strengthened this man whom you see and know, and the faith which comes through him has given this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I know that you act, acted in ignorance, 
just as you rulers did also. But the things which God announced beforehand by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer, he has thus fulfilled. Therefore repent and return, so that your sins sins may be wiped away, in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send Jesus, the, G the Christ appointed for you, whom heaven must receive until the period of restoration of all things about which God spoke by the mouth of all his prophets from ancient time. Moses said, The Lord God will rise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. To him you shall give heed to everyone he says to you. And it will be that every soul that does not heed the prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people. And likewise, all the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and his successors onward also announced these days. It is you who are the sons of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with your fathers, saying to Abraham and your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed for you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning every one of you from your wicked ways. Wow. That was an awesome verse in the Bible that I just read. Peter said, In the, in the name of Jesus and Nazarene, walk. He told the leaders that with the power of Jesus, they healed that lame man that God can heal anyone Jesus can heal anyone he can heal anyone with the coronavirus he can heal you he can heal me and if anybody who's watching has cancer he can heal you from cancer God is good all the time and all the time God is good he's always watching over us he holds everything together he sets everything in motion God is good all the time and all the time, God is good. And it's amazing to learn about how the church started today at Bible study with my friend Jason. We met at my church at the picnic table by it. And I we read Acts 11. And I learned that Christianity came from the name Christian. Christians came from Antioch. Not Christianity, but the name of, came from Antioch. And it's amazing. The, the root of our faith our faith should be in Jesus. Jesus can do anything, and there's nothing that Jesus cannot do. Because he is God in the flesh. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'm so thankful that I have 57 subscribers now. My channel is getting more known, so I like that. I know it's not 2K, it's, not, it's still not super big. But... I just want people to hear my music, watch my videos, but listen to these Saturday messages, and I'm hoping that somebody, somebody will be saved by seeing all that stuff. Because my main goal is lifting up the name of Jesus and not lifting up my name. So I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to end it. Dear God, thank you for this time that I could do this. Please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic and please be, be with everyone right now. Please be with us, what, what we're going through right now. Please be with the world with what we're going through right now. Please get rid of the coronavirus pandemic and every other disease. And please heal anyone who has the coronavirus. And please heal anyone who has cancer. Thank you so much for providing an iPad charger for me, God, even if it's connected to a part of my old iPad charger. I love you, Lord. You are awesome. You are amazing. In your precious and holy name, Lord, I say amen. I'm going to end this. Thank you all very much for watching. I want to say one more thing. I'm super thankful that I have 57 subscribers. I think I already said that. Sorry. But yeah, I'm just super thankful. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end this. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.